Hi, this is Mike. Kim, this is Michael from Mike Kim Videos. Today, I'm showing you how to make a JavaScript using jQuery toggling. So, if you click on this button that says toggle, it brings some text down and it says, "Hey, look, I'm toggling." Push it again, it goes back up. Or you can click here, and it does that. And it, you can just do all that. Now this is pretty much the code we're going to be using, and this is our folder layout. You're going to need a folder called JS, and when we click inside of that, we're going to have two files. One is jQuery.js, and the other is jfunk.js. Jfunk is the one we are going to be using, or editing, and jQuery you can download from Google. and so now, and this is our jfunk.js. So now, let's just delete all this. Okay. Okay. And refresh. And there you go. Now, what you're going to need to have in your header is this. You're going to need script type equals text slash JavaScript. And the source is js slash jQuery.js and then the same for jfunk. Now, what we're going to do first is do our jfunk. So let's make a new function called toggle element and it needs to be element speed. And so now and speed and there we go we're pretty much done with the j jfunk.js that file is pretty much done now we want to work on our and you see we'll see no immediate change but if you look at this and you go to jfunk you can see all that and now if we go and first we'll do it with the button and then I'll teach you how to do it with the um, link okay and button value equals I'm just gonna say toggle and on click which is the JavaScript so that you can um, so you can do JavaScript functions when this button is clicked. Um, so I'll do toggle element. And now, before we go any further, I'd like to make a div. And the ID, I'm going to call it paragraph. And we're going to have to add a little bit of style so that they don't start out seeing the um, pair, the text that's in there and we're just going to put display none and that's pretty much it now go inside your div and put whatever I'm just gonna put hey look I I am toggling Okay, now let's continue with our toggle element, or on click. Okay, well as you see right here, I use single quotes for the on click. So inside of these, where I specify what element I want to be toggling, I need to put it in double quotes. So you need to do whichever you did not do for the on click. So now, I'm going to put pound paragraph and then after that I'm gonna need a comma and then a space and then the speed which I'm just gonna do 1000 and save that and let's go refresh our page and toggle and it just toggles and you can change the speed up let's do 500 and now it toggles faster 
can even do even faster, let's say 100. Because sometimes people want it to go faster. Just kind of go super fast right there. I'm going to keep it at 1,000 though. Okay. So now, what I would like to show you is for if we wanted to do this with the link. So let's delete our button. And then later I'll show you the uh, it with both of them. Or wait. I'll just cut this out. Okay. So let's make t uh, a link. And we're going to, of course, want to make the link to just the pound sign, which doesn't bring you to any page. It just keeps you on this same page and then put on click equals and then the end tag and so then we're gonna have to put toggle it's pretty much the same thing and pound paragraph And then put toggle, no, click to to toggle. And now let's, now we have a link, <coughs> and if we click on that, it just starts toggling through all this. And, okay, so, and now I will add both of them together. And now you can toggle and you can just use them both to do this stuff. And that's pretty much it. You can all, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and yeah, so it's pretty simple. <coughs> okay, well, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you, and have a nice day.